What's the message to Iran? Don't. U.S. forces have been attacked approximately 66 times since October 17th, 32 separate times in Iraq, and 34 separate times in Syria. What's the message to Iran? Don't. One word, pretty straightforward. Don't. The Afghans we've been speaking to say today is a day of sadness, anger, and fear. The tumultuous end to America's longest war immortalized in these chaotic scenes. The Taliban's lightning fast takeover of Afghanistan just weeks before the United States' planned military withdrawal triggered such intense panic that thousands of Afghans stormed the Kabul airport in a desperate attempt to flee the country. Some even clinging to a moving U.S. military aircraft as it rose into the sky and falling to their deaths. I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border, do not come. Do not come. Tonight in southern Mexico, a new migrant caravan is heading north. A group of men, women, and children, whose organizers say is now 8,000 strong, after an estimated 2,000 more joined in a single day. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I'm here in Guatemala today I, at some point, you know, it, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm, Do not come. Do not come. Migrants seeking a new beginning over the Mexican border. These, mostly from Venezuela, men, women and children, families clambering aboard where they can outside the Mexican town of Arapuato. They're part of a new wave of thousands amid a surge in illegal migration to the U.S. Do not come. Do not come. Why is the administration flying thousands of migrants from the border to Florida and New York in the middle of the night? Do not come. Do not come. Department of Homeland Security documents that break down the asylum seekers parole program. The program allows up to 30,000 asylum seekers every month to be flown to the U.S. from four countries, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Haiti, and Cuba. Members of Congress, I now have the high privilege and distinct honor of presenting to you His Excellency Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel. But the already mammoth evacuation took a harrowing turn on August 26th, when a suicide bomber affiliated with the regional Islamic State group killed 13 U.S. soldiers and 180 Afghans.